What is attraction energy and what is repulsion energy? What creates attraction and what creates repulsion? If you stick around to the rest of this video, I'm gonna really break down the different areas in your spiritual life with different opportunities, with humans, with like love relationships that are really going to clarify for you how you can modulate your behavior and your relationship to your reality in a way that will make reality much more smooth and much more joyful, much more pleasant, much more beautiful for you. So what creates attraction in simple terms is giving. When you are emitting a vibe that is harmonious with the kind of thing that you would like to attract, you will attract that thing. Now I know you've probably heard this before in a lot of different ways in different law of attraction teachings, but I wanted to bring it across in a new way. If we would like to create more of something in our life, then the key is to emit an energy, to be in a vibrational state that is emitting an energy that is harmonious with that thing that we would like to attract. But this is an emitting energy, it's a giving energy, right? is not a taking energy. In fact, a needy energy, a grabbing at something, this is what pushes things away. This is a repulsive kind of energy. But it's the giving, right? It's the emitting. In order to attract something, we must emit. So the waves are going out. And then along those waves, come back the things that are in harmony with it. Now, when we're in an emitting state, when we're putting energy out, this is not where it ends. We don't just sit there and put energy out. We also dance with that emission of energy. And it's that dance that is the actions that actually align with the particular thing that we're hoping to manifest or create more of in our life. It's the willingness to be moved by this vibration that actually is you opening up to receive, right? This is the, this is like, there's the force behind the blooming of the flower, and that is the energy, but then the actual blooming is the action that proceeds from the energetic inspiration. Now, what's really tricky about this is that counter impulsively, we could say, it's counter impulsive to just dance and then see the thing that you're excited about or interested in and not try to grab it not try to go after it and grab it, but rather dance with it and make yourself available and let it come to you, but then also meet it halfway so that you can receive it. Because that's really the trick about this whole thing. It's a very graceful dance. What happens is when we start seeing something coming into our reality that we want, the tendency is to grab for it. But that grabbing is actually what pushes it away. So the idea is to hold it with an open fist. Hold it with an open hand and let it come to you. You don't just sit there and emit the frequency and don't put your hand out. You need to receive, you need to be willing to receive. So the idea is you do put your hand out, but you leave it open. You don't try to grasp, you leave it open. And you dance and you emit the energy and it comes into your hand gracefully. And then you dance together and you have fun and you enjoy yourself and it's light and it's lighthearted. So you can see how this is expressed in love dynamics. When somebody is dancing a graceful dance and they're having fun, they're attractive and the other person will be attracted to them. But when they try to become possessive over the other person, they try to own the other person, that's a turnoff that pushes the person away. The person wants to back up. They don't feel safe. It doesn't feel in the flow anymore with job opportunities, with opportunities in general. An example is a job opportunity. If you need the job so much, you're grasping for the job, that neediness comes off as lower status. It comes off as um, you're not sturdy in yourself. Maybe you're not worthy of this job, right? So you're reaching for it and the people can feel that. So I don't know about this person. But if you're graceful and you're emitting the frequency of efficiency, the frequency of competence, the frequency of the ability to come in and be the perfect employee, then that frequency is received by these people. You're not grabbing at it because it's not needy, 
but you are harmonizing, you're dancing with it, you're making it available. You're showing that you are available in your actions to receive this job. Then you become very attractive to the people that are looking for someone to give it to. This also works in your spiritual development. It's the same thing. If you are evolving yourself and reaching into higher frequencies, you're reaching into higher expressions of divinity, and there's a certain um, essence or there's a certain level of consciousness that you're starting to tune into. As you start tuning into this level of consciousness, if you start feeling your consciousness shift in a particular way, it might feel like your pineal glands being activated and you can feel the DMT moving through your body. When you start feeling that, if you get really excited and you try to grab at it, it's, it pulls you out of the state. Same thing with astral, dream, with astral projecting and lucid dreaming. You want to be lucid, you want to be lucid, and then you start noticing that you're lucid and you get so excited and oh, you want to grab at it, you want to hold it, and then it dissolves, you wake up, it wakes you up. So the idea is that you dance in your expression of being receptive but it's an emitting of the frequency. You're not trying to grab at anything. What you are is you're becoming the harmonious frequency that is harmonious with this thing. And in becoming that, you're dancing in the right geometry for that thing. You're emitting the right frequency. And naturally, like a moth to a flame or to a light, it just is attracted and it starts dancing with you. The second you start grabbing at it, the second it'll dissolve. So, the way this is expressed in our everyday lives is very much like you're taking action towards the things that you would like to achieve from a space of feeling as if you've already achieved it. Now I know you've probably heard this before in a lot of different ways in different law of attraction teachings, but I wanted to bring it across in a new way where you could really feel that lighthearted freedom of falling in love with the dance. People talk about this. They talk about falling in love with the path. It's you, the it's the destination is the journey, right? So falling in love with the journey, but really, it's it's a matter of falling in love with the essence of the journey, falling in love with the vibration of what it is that you would like to live as. So you can think about there's all these things that you may want in the world. You might want all these circumstances. You might want these things. You might want to be around certain kinds of people. But what you actually want is you want the feeling that you think that you will have when you're in that circumstance. So the idea is to tune into that feeling because you can feel that feeling now and fall in love with that feeling and fall in love with the kinds of actions and expressions that that feeling inspires in you. And when you do that and forget about getting the actual thing, the thing will actually just come on its own accord. You don't need to make it happen. It just starts to happen for you. So you're extremely dedicated to doing that dance and dancing in that way, but you're extremely released or detached from the outcome. You don't need to grab it. You don't need to reach for it. You just fall in love with the expression, with the dance of that vibration. And as a secondary effect, it will manifest in your life. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you think this video will be useful for anybody that you know, share it with them. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below. And I'm super stoked to continue sharing amazing content with you. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes, and I'll talk to you next time. One love.